Over here are the uh, more mature pawpaws. Uh, these are either first or second year pawpaws uh, that were uh, ordered. Almost uh, 20 named varieties of pawpaw were ordered and uh, almost all of them are planted out here at the orchard. Uh, pawpaws, when they're young, are fairly uh, susceptible to light and planting them in full sun can actually kill them. Uh, so I've had to uh, use these cardboard boxes here to uh, give them a little bit of shade while they're out here in the open. Uh, in a couple of years, or hopefully next year, uh, they will not be as uh, photosensitive and I'll be able to take the boxes off. Uh, the plan is to use the, uh, these pawpaws right here as a source for scion wood and then graft over all the uh, trees that uh, come up from the seeds that were planted. In a stroke of extreme luck, it turns out that I have a pawpaw patch right on my property. Uh, these pawpaws, I didn't know what they were before, are uh, just growing wild right here, all over the place. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that because right now I'm not having too much luck with the mail order pawpaws. I'm having trouble uh, figuring out the right balance between too much sun and too much shade. Uh, but uh, these pawpaws seem to be growing pretty well, so uh, with luck, all I'll need to do is get some scion wood, uh, hopefully it should be pretty easy, and uh, graft these over and use them as an alternate source for scion wood for all the seedlings uh, that have been planted. Uh, it's uh, July 21st, uh, 2012. Uh, just looking at a pawpaw tree uh, that's been uh, planted out here at the uh, orchard. And uh, overall, almost all the pawpaw trees that I've planted out here are just doing miserably. Uh, I've, I'm only able to come out to the orchard on the weekends to uh, water them, uh, which was a good plan, uh, but I wasn't expecting the uh, you know, driest summer and spring in the last uh, you know, maybe half a century. And uh, so, yeah, none of these uh, are doing very well. They're all sort of drying up and shriveling. Uh, so now I'm into a, a desperation move where I'm uh, cutting back the... Uh, the trees that I bought, uh, almost to the, uh, the graft down there, and uh, trying to uh, take uh, some of this uh, scion wood on these trees and uh, graft them onto the uh, pawpaw patch that I found over on my property. Uh, I really didn't want to do this, but uh, my hand has been sort of forced since uh, none of these pawpaws are probably going to make it through the uh, rest of the summer. So up here on the uh, hill, I'm uh, grafting into these uh, wild pawpaws. Uh, luckily, they're uh, pretty well shaded by these weeds. Uh, they're giant weeds, and uh, they're shading these pawpaws extremely well, so they're doing quite well. Uh, this is uh, just a Wilson uh, little tiny stick of uh, cyan wood here, uh, along with uh, another Wilson uh, right there. Pretty small. Uh, obviously, uh, since the, uh, the trees I took this uh, wood from are uh, in the process of dying, it's not exactly the uh, highest quality of cyan wood out there, but uh, hopefully uh, you know, at least one or two of these things will uh, take, and it'll save me from uh, having to buy more trees or uh, possibly finding somebody who uh, has some cyan wood of pawpaws that I can use. So while all the uh, trees that were planted out at the orchard uh, struggled this year, uh, the trees that uh, were kept back at the house in pots are uh, actually doing quite well. Uh, I transferred them from the little black pots they were originally shipped in into uh, larger containers and uh, was able to water them quite regularly. And uh, most of them have put on uh, a good deal of growth. And I'll probably try transferring a couple of these uh, trees uh, from the house to the orchard next year.